Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which was just too convenient. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Oh, people are just trying my patience. Yeah, Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs, quietly of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Time to say hello, don't you think? Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Honestly, can we blame him for being so paranoid? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. I understand.
I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Think I can fit through the windows up there? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home and resolve to be a better person. Okay, I'm on it. There's a lot of traps. You weren't joking when you said he had the whole place rigged. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Okay, I'm on it. Welcome to Claire and present danger, and welcome to fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change.
trap to disarm. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Muscle Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Let's not do anything hasty, please. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Never. I'm one of the good guys. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait! Albion knows you're in London. Kill me if you've got to, but run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Believe me, we know all about it. Why else would I be risking my life here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Listen, we came here to get your help. Cass is dangerous, he needs to be stopped. He was behind the bombings and tried to kill us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't shit. lying about that part. Fuck, think, you think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. <laughs> no! drive is not available. Excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Chief, that was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. 
What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilising or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. OK, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this.